Well, it has been confirmed, finally confirmed, that Sam Raimi will be directing Doctor Strange 2. Sam Raimi of the original Spider-Mans, of the Evil Dead series, of, you know, Drag Me to Hell, of whatever. So he, he's got horror background in him. He's going to be directing Doctor, Doctor Strange is the Multiverse of Madness. Um, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be horror-ish or have horror, horror, ele type horror movie, elements yeah. in it, not, whether it's going to be a full-blown horror movie, probably not, but horror, horror elements, um, which, talking about this before, it's pretty cool, and I'm glad that it's finally confirmed. Um, I'm interested to see what he is going to do with it, and this is his, I think it's his first time dipping his toe back into the comic book movie realm is, since, yeah. what, Spider-Man 3. Yeah. So, and we know how. I mean, he he probably wished that he a little went out on a little better foot than than that one. <laughs> I think. Um, the but, strongest entry. And, and Marvel is in a very strong place uh, as far as like uh, movie production wise go. They they're you know well oiled machine from that standpoint. So his creativity combined with their uh, you know ability to produce a good movie, I think. Uh, is only going to lead to positive things, I think, for me. And, and this just ratchets this one up to the top of my, you know, one of the top of my anticipated list for the MCU. So um, what do you guys think of this finally being confirmed? So I put this on uh, Instagram a couple of days ago. Um, uh, we have Instagram, by the way. Go, go follow us on Instagram. Go there. Anyway, so I put this on Instagram, and one of the comments that was made was the person actually – only knew him from his his um, Spider-Man forays, and they weren't a huge fan of the second and third Spider-Man. Um, the, what, they weren't just a like huge... a random person that posted it, and you commented uh, it on was, it. Or? It was not a random person. I'm not going to call that throw okay. that person under the bus. So you posted um, it, and one of our followers, yeah, commented. Uh, oh no, one of our followers. Yeah, okay. they they commented about it, and um, you know, I pointed out to him that he has done the horror genre more than anything. Um, and anyway, but my, my point being on that, what are our feelings about his Marvel movies? I, I mean, I, I think that a lot of people liked the first one quite a bit. Um, I think they hold that as a standard to some people consider it a standard of, I'd say of Marvel movies. I'd say consensus more leans to people liking the second one more than the first one. Well, and this person so actually didn't develop. like the second one, didn't like the second one or the third one, which third one I think is a, a lot of people. It, have a lot of people have that feeling about third one, but they also weren't a fan of the second one. So how, how do we feel about that? Um, that, that, that that's where, you know, do we do we think that that's a common thought process? Do you think more people are going to be a little leery about him stepping into a comic book world despite his horror background? I'm not so worried um, because he's shown that he can make one of those movies and do it uh, well. I think, you know, some of the problems with the movies that people didn't like, I don't know if you're going to see, you know, like some of those maybe script points uh, i think marvel as a entity is in a lot more controlled atmosphere you know you have uh more oversight into how things are going to happen so him doing a doctor strange movie it's i don't think he's going to just go off on a tangent and do whatever like there's a structure and an overall you know plot that that movie is going to fold into so i don't know i think uh i think he's capable of making a good you know superhero movie um, and I think he's going to have other people in the mix that'll, uh, that'll keep him, you know, on track and avoid some of the, the stuff that maybe people didn't like so much about the third Spider-Man and I th parts of the second. I think what will benefit him here is that he's not going to have so many hands in the pot as far as it's the suits telling him what to do, uh, and like sort of restraining him or, you know, changing the movie with what they want to see in this where i think that's a lot of the the problem with what the third spider-man did it just kind of had a little bit too much input into it uh, and here you have the one main guiding hand with kevin feige um but in every situ situation where you have sort of like a i don't know like an auteur director kind of person like a uh, um taika waititi for example he was able to put his his personal stamp 
on Thor Ragnarok and still work within the the Marvel system to create a, a very successful movie. It mm-hmm. it definitely took Thor in a different direction, a more comedic direction than it had gone before. But for a lot of people, I think for the three of us here, uh, it worked like like it's my favorite of the Thor movies. I know Jared, your opinions of the yeah. Thor movies are pretty down. So yeah, the, it's it's definitely <laughs> my favorite. And what's interesting is they were able to capitalize on that on that character going into the Avengers as well. Yeah, right. Like it's particularly, I think um end game uh more so than infinity war but uh um and where they go with that going into into uh number four who knows especially with taika ytt at the head of it again um but i think you've brought up a good point taika ytt kind of was able to do his thing in the genre and it worked really well it worked really well um i i'm hoping that with with sam raimi's horror background and with his um marvel background i mean he's got both at at this point in time right right? maybe not the mcu world but he's got marvel background he's got comic book background so bring both of them together you you might do okay you know i look back if i'm not mistaken i'm I'm double check here sam uh, sam raimi also directed um uh he directed oh dark man which is almost a very comic book it, style, and it may actually have been a comic. I think it is a comic book. I was going to say, it may actually have been a comic, but it's also kind of got a horror uh, scene yeah. to it as well. I enjoyed Dark Man. I, I thought that was actually a really cool movie it. Uh, back in the day. Uh, Liam Neeson uh, played the main character in that one. Um, so I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of excited. I think there's I think there's definite potential for it, and I think uh, I think he can do something with it. I think he can. I'm I'm with you, Brian. I'm excited about this one. Um, yeah. I'm excited about this. And I think they also, I don't know if they confirmed it, but I think the idea was that they weren't going to have to adjust anything with it. Yeah, still, it's still slated to come out in uh, uh, November of 2021. So they didn't have to make any adjustments. And as of right now, with the pandemic and everything, they still haven't made any adjustments to it. So um, we'll see uh, We'll see how that goes and, and keep you guys updated on more things Sam Raimi and um, Doctor Strange. 